Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Monday, March the 7th, 2022. Today we're pulling from the Dragon Tarot. We have two pentacles here, seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. So with this spread, it talks a lot about rest and rejuvenation. They're talking about a period of busy, then we're going to rest and then busy again. So with the world card here on the right, I'm wondering if you're busy at your job, they're saying switching departments. Maybe they feel like you'll be, they're saying human resources. That's pretty cool. Uh, you'll be more utilized in a different department and you end up going there uh, and maybe getting busy again or, you know, somewhere else in the company. Um, they're showing where I used to work in a bindery where I was in the bindery section. I ended up moving to print. We were busy, you know what I mean? But I... I like those sort of jobs, like, you know, and it's just like with print, it's like, you know, you could see how much you accomplished on your own. You know what I mean? And it's just like giving yourself a pat on the back at the end of the day, because it's like you can see what you've accomplished during your whole shift. So um, I'm wondering if this is a labor job for someone. So there's, you know, with the seven of pentacles, I feel like this is manifestations. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's like you asked for money to come in and then this job probably came up. So I'm not sure if you're leaving a job or there's a layoff and then going back to work. But there, it looks like there's a period of rest and rejuvenation before you pick up the sword again. They keep knocking of that. So we start off with the seven of pentacles. The seven foretells a truly rewarding time. The possibilities before you are quite awesome. But do you think it, but do think in the long term, decide where you are and what you would like to be remembered for by your family, friends, the choices you face really are important destiny at work you know with myself it's just like you know sometimes we can't help what happens out in the external world past two years and I hate to talk about this because like honestly what's going on in uh Ukraine is truly heartbreaking you know what I mean like I feel like it's like there's people that are that have lost everything and here I am complaining about x y and z not even complaining just sharing it just kind of giving examples so it's just like you know it, it kind of puts things into perspective in that way. So it's like if you are a person of prayer, positive manifestations, you know, setting energy, healing light to the, you know, to the people of Ukraine, definitely do so, you know, because they need it more than anyone. So we go to the world. So completion, resolution, success, good luck. So I like the words that we're talking about here with this ending, because with me, it's like the world heading into the fool. I feel like it's that like nine energy, you know, we're nine about to go to 10 completion, but I feel like it's just that void. Well, I would let me correct myself. I feel like it's 10 going to zero. So I feel like 10, we're at the end. But I feel like there's this lull time where it's like void, of course, with the universe, where it's just like, you know, keep, you know, you get up and do whatever you do, whatever and during the day and repeat. But I feel like in this time, especially with I film ahead of time, I'm transparent about that. Today's uh, Sunday. So with the forecast and projections, if you follow me on IG, I share, uh, I think it's spiritual, something's uh, daily, um, daily um, forecast for the day, for the day. and uh, IG as well, and for Facebook as well. And they talked about rest and rejuvenation because you cannot give from an empty cup. And I feel like universe is saying, after work, I feel like uh, on your days off, do the things that will, re will refill your cup because you are the type of person Especially them saying this, you are the type of person that fills your own cup. You know, I don't feel like other people, I feel like there's people that contribute to make your life easier. Like with myself and be my kids, you know, they definitely do whatever they can to sit there and lighten the load on me, especially right now because it's so chaotic. But um, I feel like they're saying like, you know, this goes for everybody. I don't care who you are, what you do, what your life looks like. You got to sit there and take time for you. So the, if is this a sound bath, you know, listening to that energy and grounding yourself, because we do have grounding energy with the seven and the eight. This could be 78. This could be uh 15. So one plus six, you know, that time, it, you know, things following in order. You know what I mean? I just definitely, and I'm not the only one where there's a lot of things going on in life, but it just, it's like, we don't, can't tell where this is leading, you know, and this is where the new moon forecast had said, you know, you will see more. Universe will tell you more by the full moon, by the end of February, when we're going into that waiting crescent energy heading into the next new moon of April. 
So it's just like we're going through this cycle right now where it's just like, you know, the universe is saying we're turning a corner. We're we're not quite there where we can see the edge, but we can't see what's on the other side of it. So that's where we're at right now. So with our world card, upright, the world represents a favorable cum accumulation of long period of striving and hard work that meets at, uh, at least with recon uh, recognition and reward. It stands for completion, fulfillment, the dawn of a period during which you can relax and relish, uh, refresh yourself before the need to for major excess arises again. Sometimes, like even, what was that from? They were saying, just understand you're in a period of your life. This is not going to be it forever. I always just say, you know, I say that this is just something going on right now. It doesn't define the rest of your life. Like with us, they're doing major renovations. It came out of the blue. You know, Spirit has been talking about things out of the blue. And it's like, what can, we can either sit there and go with it and just be like, okay, it is what it is. You know, as soon as it's done, don't have to deal with it anymore, you know. Or we could sit there and bitch and complain and make it harder on the people trying to do their job. You know, all you can do is go with the flow. You know, this is where I feel like temperance kept coming up in the last couple of weeks. This is a good time to take stoke and catch up on uh, neglected areas of your life. So our children, our partner, um, where, wherever this is, our manifestations, our friends, what, you know, X, Y, and Z. I just, it's like... I feel like that ebb time, you know, where things are quiet. You know, I used to sit there. I'm the type of person that likes to be kept busy. You know, even on my days off, it's just like, you know, I like to, you know, obviously with Shabbat, you can't do any major work. But, you know, catching up with friends and kikiing and joking and laughing and, you know, maybe going to the beach or fishing or something like that, you know. Um, and I, it's just like, you know, oh, why is it so quiet? You know, like with especially being a healer, it's like. Busy, quiet, busy. You know, that's how it always goes. Or I go into this major period where it's busy, 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 and it's to the point of exhaustion. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, crying. I'm like, I should have appreciated that quiet time. I said that to myself. It was at Christmas time. I was busy. And then January with the lockdown, major lockdown, you know, that lockdown really, you know, kicked me in the teeth. But it was just like that major lockdown. It was just like, you know, it was quiet. And it's just like, oh, it's so quiet. It's so cool. And oh my word. Now I'm like, my back is screaming. It's like, when are we going to have a day off? <laughs> When's it going to be slow again? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of you are like messaging me. How come we can't talk to you? It's because I'm busy. <laughs> so eight of pentacles. So eight of pentacles, this is your workout on display. So this is where they were specific. They showed the astrology answers, um, eight of pentacles where it's a blacksmith and it's a labor of love. So he sits there and he makes these beautiful pentacles. So there's seven of them on, on, on display. He's working on his eighth pentacle. So he's got his sleeves rolled up. You see him working really hard, concentrating. His back is towards you. So he doesn't want to talk to you. I've learned as I do private readings where the spirit turns their back to you, they're done. You know, uh, some cases I'm like, well, you know, you're the whole reason why they wanted this. You know, can, you know, can you stay, you know? add what you want to add and they're like yeah sure you know so sometimes especially specifically with one person i'm sure if she hears this she knows who i'm she i'm talking about her but in her uh past loved one but it's like you know i they sit down and they listen and then they'll chime in here and there and i'm like yes absolutely say whatever you need to say you know so i feel like maybe you know when they're talking about maybe you're kind of sub self-conscious here where it's just like you don't think people are seeing your efforts but i feel like they see it um, this is kind of like with Shane, they're kind of feeling where it's just like Shane was like proud of the fact that he was on the honor roll and the Dean's list when he was in college and when he went for this job. And I, I, I don't know if they were saying it to see how he would react, uh, but he wasn't praised for the fact that he, uh, worked so hard. Um, and then when he was hired, they were all like, oh my gosh, you're so smart. And da, da, da. he's like, oh my, I, he's like, I did not expect that. And I'm like, see, I told you. And I'm like, you know, because he was upset about that. And I don't blame him. You know, like when you work really hard on something and someone runs you down for it. And I told him, I said, even though they don't see your accomplishments, we see your accomplishments. You know, and I, we, you know, in his office, we would always hang up his rewards and everything he would get from work. And I'm like, you should be proud of those. You worked hard for those. And I'm like, you know, he was very humble, you know, um, and I'm like, but you should be a proud of those accomplishments. I said, because it, it, they, they mean something. I'm like, you sat there and it's like, even though sometimes, and you know, all of us could talk about this 
we sit there, we do so much, and sometimes it's like it, it, you don't get that, not even like that a boy or anything like that. And it's just like sometimes that would go a, a long way. You know, I appreciate you. You know, I don't say it enough. I appreciate all that you do. I appreciate who you are and having my back and X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? And I feel like that will go a long way. So it's like, I feel like this is where spirit was talking about. Don't forget the, the things that you've neglected. You know, it's like, speak up and tell them like you, some people say, oh, they should know. Well, you know what? Maybe you think they should know, but maybe they're, you know, you're going to ask one day for help or expect help one day. And it's like, it ain't there because you don't appreciate them. You abuse the situation. So it's like, you know, when you have words to speak, definitely share them. So they're, they're saying, don't wait till it's too late. So the eight of pentacles, success and, and calm mastery of your talents are at hand. I'm just all stuffy from the, the, the construction. You are appreciated by those, uh, uh, those you work with and are likely to receive your just rewards. Be prudent though, as this time for, um, consolidation not wild access. You are often the um you are offered the chance of rewarding adventures, but you are also expected to be responsible in your actions. I feel like for especially for my, someone for myself and I I don't give them a hard time or anything, you know what I mean? Like obviously I do what I'm told, but um it's like going from self-employed to like, you know, now working for someone else. It's very different. You know what I mean? And I feel like, you know, maybe they're like, oh, you know, they're self-employed. So they're going to be, ex it's like, no, I know my place, you know, I'm not the boss, you know, and I understand there's a protocol and I, you know, and that's what something she was very, you know, diligent on. She's like, you know, when we, we, we schedule X and, you know, if you don't show up, you're making it that much harder on everyone else. And it's like, yeah, absolutely. It's also the way we speak, the way we act. It's like, you know, showing like, you know, yes, there is a hierarchy and, you know, we got to respect that. You know what I mean? And so it's just like, you know, some people, and I've noticed that, uh, when I was working at certain jobs, it's like, they would come in and they're like older than everyone else and they would feel a certain way. And it's like, yeah, but you know, it's a job. Like, you know what I mean? Pays the bills. You got a family, but they would feel like, you know, they should be in charge or like everyone should listen to them. And it's like, well, I understand because we're younger than you, but you also have to understand that, you know, maybe someone is younger that is in charge. And all you can do is just sit there and accept what it is and just keep moving forward. It's like you're there to do a job. It doesn't matter. You know, as long as it's a team effort and we work together, that's all that matters. So the emperor, I feel like in this case, I feel like it's like the misogynistic way of saying like you are providing for maybe yourself, for your family, for your you and your partner, whatever this is. But I feel like, you know, with the emperor is always highlight the four pillars of the home. You know, I feel like order and structure. I feel like with this, it's like the man brings home the bacon and the little lady cooks it. You know, the misogynistic way of talking like that. But I feel like it's also highlighting the fire's um, uh, signs, our uh, characteristics rather, uh, bravery, courage, strength, resilience. And I feel like they're kind of encouraging you that you will get through this because, they're, you know, that emperor, you know what I mean? They always highlight his legs. That's that, you know, just because I wear these, you know, fancy robes, don't forget, you know, I can kick some ass too, you know what I mean? And I feel like it's just like you've battled through life, you've been through life. If this is highlighting you, maybe you're meeting your emperor at work, you know, maybe this is love coming in for you. Remember they talked about money and, and uh, love? You could be meeting someone at work. Maybe you're someone like myself, like, you know, I've met my partners at work, or I met them at where I was, like, so if it was school or you know, work, it's like, you know, that's where I, I've never been successful on dating apps or anything like that. So this could be highlighting that as well. I, in this sense from, I feel like this is just saying like, you know, bravery, courage, strength, resilience. Maybe you're feeling self-conscious, you know what I mean? And I feel like it's just saying like, you will get through this. You know what the funny thing is? Maybe, you know, with like uh, astrology answers, they like you or a realtor or maybe visit your house or a contractor. That's literally what's happening right now. I don't know. It, like, see, that's where I'm like, is this highlighting something that has already come to pass? Or are they highlighting that something is going to happen? Because I could take it both ways. Not so much an ending, but I feel like, you know, there's a transition. And I feel like what Spirit is saying going around the corner. You know what I mean? I feel like in that way. So it's, it's, it's hard to tell, but th that's so funny. Spirit just brought that to my attention. They always talk about a contractor or a realtor. Emperor has been coming out a lot and we did not expect these renovations. They just showed up and started setting up and I'm just like, huh? 
I'm like, can I help you? They're like, yeah, we're here to do the windows. I'm like, uh, okay. I haven't moved anything. You know, you got to remove everything, the hardware, your everything around it, the furniture. And I'm just like, I'm like, universe, you're throwing everything at me, but the, in the kitchen sink, not, it's like not in the kitchen sink and the kitchen sink. It's like, damn. So power, confidence, strength, honesty. The emperor represents earthly power. So we definitely get these earthly powers. It's funny that they say earthly powers because he's fire, but okay. Achieve through force of will, including war if necessary. We don't want war. We want the war, the whatever this unrest is to stop. Though usually the cards stand for stability, wealth, justice, and uh, dominance of reason over emotion. And I feel like... Um, we don't want the dominance, you know what I mean? I can feel where the dominance is coming in my situation, but I feel like it's like you got to understand, you got to sit there, take yourself. And I feel like this is why Spirit is saying rest and rejuvenation, especially your days off or wherever you can get it in. I feel like it's like because you don't want to be emotional because you're tired. You know, like with the little kids, it's just it, like that TikTok meme where it's just like, do you want to take a nap? It's like, oh, you need to take a nap. And the poor little baby's like, you know, freaking out because they're overwhelmed, you know? And it's just like, you know, you just need a woo-sow. You need a nap. It can represent authority figure at um, at work or in a family or an attitude necessary to carry plans through to fruition. Sometimes it's necessary to put aside reflection and sympathy and simply act. Ooh. I guess so. I, I, would, I never want to sit there and not act out of a way of not have, being sympathetic. Sorry. You know, I try to be empathetic to anyone that's around me, you know, uh, you know, in certain situations, like, you know, especially like, you know, we had someone, uh, going through it and it's just like, you know, I didn't, I was not, not paying attention, but at the same time, it's like, I was aware of a situation and I'm not going to sit there and be not check in, you know what I mean? Because it's just like, I would want that person to be there for me. You know what I mean? Just kind of showing them they're not alone. And if they need anything, they're there. You know, so I don't know. I just feel like the world needs more empathy right now. More than ever. You know, past two years have taught us that more than ever. So we're ending on the four swords. Rest and rejuvenation before we can pick up the sword again. So I don't know if this is your days off. I don't know if they're like, that's what is what I'm like kind of confused about. Like that rest and rejuvenation. Or is this kind of like, you should appreciate your, your, your lull times, your, your, your ebb times. Where things are quiet, you know, there's no action, void of course, you know what I mean? And I'm learning that. It's just like, you know, even though I like perpetual motion sometimes, it's just like, you know what? It's about to get busy. And I kept telling myself, you're going to regret that by saying that. I said, it's going to, and I do, because it's like definitely kicking my butt. And it's just like, you know, every time this happens, slow, busy, slow, busy. and then, Or it's just like this. It's just constant, constant, constant. And I'm just like... Waving the white flag on the floor. <laughs> okay, I get it, universe. Uncle, you know? They got my arm behind my back and I'm saying, Uncle, screaming Uncle, please stop. Remember last week it was the Ten of Wands and they were showing the wands falling? <laughs> like, dang. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, a temporary relief from struggle. Use solitude to plan a way forward because the chances are that much will will be um, uh, demanded of you again soon. Ooh, this can uh, refer to either health or your personal life. Remember, with hindsight, all the best achievements involve triumph over adversary. So um, they're saying that this can refer to either your health or your personal life. Ooh, I don't like that. God forbid, you know. Sometimes it's hard when you're you're busy, 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 and it's like you have other elements. You're spinning so many plates as to keep an eye on everything, you know? So I feel like that's why they're saying on your days off or the, when you get off of work, it's like concentrate on those people that have, you know, been putting up with X, Y, and Z and check it in and making sure everything's good. And you know what I mean? Because it's just like sometimes, you know, we fail to see situations because we're so busy. You know what I mean? So... Or, I don't know, I, I, some situations it's hard. It's like, you know, especially with preteens, you want to give them their space because they're growing up. And it's like they want that solitude. And it's like you respect that because as an, I was the same way. As soon as I hit 12, I wanted solitude. I just wanted to be on my own, listen to my music, be in my own world, you know, and woo-sow. And um, 
I try to do that with my own children. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, it's their room, you know, and it's just like, you know, if they're doing their own thing, just, you know, check on them once in a while. But it's just like, I feel like it's like, you know, everybody in your family, check on everybody. Someone comes to your mind, message them. Even if you can't talk to them too long. Hey, just thinking of you. Hope all everything's good. I miss you. I love you. You know, I'll talk to you soon, you know, just to make sure everything's good. But it's, it's sometimes it's hard, especially when you're spending so many plates and like the 10 of ones, it's just like, you know, but they're saying things like I said, with like this window renovation, it's like, it's temporary. You know, I said that to my son because he was getting overwhelmed. And I said, listen, it's temporary. Monday, they'll be done. Last window. And I said, we'll never have to see them again. And they're like, he's like, okay. You know, sometimes we got to just, you know, you know, take a reminder. Like even the, we feel this way. It's like our little creatures that we have in our life feel the same way as well. So our littles feel the same way. It's just like, what's going on here? There's a lot going on, you know, and it's sometimes it's a little too much. We got to remember to check in on our littles. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Monday, March 7th, 2022. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.